Alrighty, guys. Sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, I forgot what I was doing last time. Um, let's just, uh, let's set uh, our long way here. Oh, right, right, right. Last time we were trying to Aztec, uh, uh, Yame Bakura. So, uh, we're gonna continue now. Let's try Fluffy. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, and we will, uh, let's put Turtle Bird in the fence just in case, so, okay. Your turn, Yame Bakura. Bakura. Oh, oh no. Ah, Guardian Star. Alright, down goes Fluffy. Sorry, Fluffy. Uh, let's see. So let's try... Okay, we've got a plant down there. Let's just go with, uh... Yeah, we'll put this on top. Go with the uh, Queen of Leaves. Yeah, so far this is going pretty good. But now we know, uh, Saturn is, uh, super effective against this, which I'm pretty sure is a Labyrinth Roll. So, let's see... Anything super effective? No. Okay. Uh, Queen of Leaves, you do it. Uh, and once again, we'll leave Turtle Bird in defense. Okay. He's down to 20 cards in this deck, so we're halfway there. Okay. Alright, we're starting to get our dragons now. That's good. Uh, I'm just gonna set this. Take that. Dark Kimura. <laughs> That's a card uh, Panic used a lot in uh, Season 1, as well as in Duels of the Roses and stuff. Okay. Oh, another female card. Okay, that's good. Let's see. Okay, let's play this down. This is also an Aqua. Saturn. Yeah, Saturn's good. Okay, this time we'll do Turtle Bird. I don't know why I wasn't attacking with Turtle Bird for whatever reason, but Miss Arizume, okay. Alright, we'll end the turn. Alright. Mmm. Okay. Oh, right, I was in defense mode. Good, good. Didn't lose points. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we finally got Montagna, Tony Montagna. Let's play it. He hasn't played too many dragons, so I feel pretty good about this. Okay, so we finally got our field card. Of course, I would prefer Umi right now because we got Turtle Bird, but, you know, it's all good. Uh, Turtle Bird... Wait, wait, are you super effective, Pumpkin? No. Okay, Turtle Bird attack. Alright, now that we've got that, I will start trying to make a Twin Head of Thunder next turn and go after whatever that face down card is. Been the whole t Let's see if I was right the whole time and it was a... Uh, Actually, I'll probably go after Mystical L first, because it's got 3k defense. Oh, yes, we're getting all the dragons now. Okay, so let's do over this. This should be fine. And huzzah! Twin Head of Thunder Dragon. All right, Twin Head of Thunder Dragon, attack the Mystical... Oh! Oh, okay, so I'll need to make another one with uh, Pluto. Okay. Take this out. It was Millennium Shield the whole time. Ha! I knew it, Yami Bakura. You can't read my poker face. Occubeam. Wait, fairies aren't strong on mountain? Uh, I didn't know that. Okay, so apparently fairies aren't strong on mountain in this game. Uh-oh, he's using. Oh, okay, we're gonna need to crash right here. Oh no. Oh, good, good. Oh, thank God. Oh, that dude, that is best case scenario. I thought he was gonna use a power up here on, uh, dude, that is best case scenario. Okay, so now what we wanna do, let's make another twin headed thunder dragon. So let's use petite dragon and this and a thunder. Oh, that is best case scenario. He had dark holes set the whole time. Wow, Yami Bakura. But see, now that he did that, now that he did that and the field is completely empty, now we can just basically keep him off of cards, off of monster cards. That is best case scenario. Okay, so now we only want to play one card a turn because uh, we only have 11 cards in our deck. So, Morphing Jar, start with you, defense mode. Oh, dude, that is perfect. And what's this? Spirit of the Winds? Okay. Yeah, you, honestly, Yami Bakura did us a big favor. I was afraid he was going to power up, because this guy does have, like, 
Dragon Treasure. He, he has stuff in his deck to power up, so yeah, that could have been scary. Um, let's go with this. Stone D. Okay, Mars. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I guess fairies do not get powered up by mountain in this game. That is weird, because they definitely do indulge to the roses. Um, also, don't they, don't fairies get powered up in the real game? With, uh, I think they do. Uh, anyway, let's just set our mail here. Defense mode. Okay, you got a star? No, okay. Yep, we'll just keep attacking with twin headed. I think we'll just attack it just with twin headed, that way we won't lose any more life points. By the way, um, I am gonna start direct attacking now that I've just thought about it. I am gonna start direct attacking a little bit uh, because we do want his life points within range of, uh, of like one shot because we do need to ultimately finish him off at some point. So let's attack with Stone D directly. Still an ogre grotto. Okay. So yeah, let's do like 2,000. And then I might do some chip damage. I might do like... Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll do another 2,000. That should be close enough within range. Oh, he's attacking. Catapult turtle. Ooh, he actually lost life. Points. And see, that's the other thing about s -teching. That's the other thing. Is like, you can't control whether or not the AI attacks you. So I can't tell you how many times, man, it, it, it is a little frustrating, but I can't tell you how many times I've been so close to, oh, and this is good because it'll give him 500 extra life points. Okay, good. But I can't tell you how many times I've been so close to s teching and then like, you saw how we had Armel in defense? The AI just randomly attacks one of the face down monsters I've had the whole time. It's like, no, no, no. Don't kill yourself and their life points have been low, you know? That's why I prefer to leave him with about somewhere around 2,000, you know, somewhere manageable. Um, I think, and because of that, I think I'll attack with the, uh, let's see, well, we have the plants. Can I make a plant fusion? I can. Um, but I think I'll direct attack with little D just to get him, you know, because I don't want to leave him with 900, like I just said, like, oh. Um, okay, good, good, good. It's just a witch. Yeah, I don't want to leave him with like 900 and then for him to like attack into one of my cards and then just, whoa, whoa, little D, you like glitched the game there, buddy. Yeah, so we'll leave with 1800. That's a, that's a solid number. And yeah, we'll take some damage, but that's fine. That is fine. Okay, so can we make something with 1600? That way we can just straight up crash. Um, Just try. Let's see if Bean Soldier has the Guardian Star. Let's see, Bean Soldier, Uranus. What's that? Oh, okay, I got a notification on my phone. Okay, no. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Stone D, you can do it. We'll show Stone D. I just realized we haven't shown any animations this episode yet. But yeah, yeah, S teching is just—it's so you know. Basically, since it, you can't control what the AI does, that's what makes it the hardest, you know. You know, so. But hopefully we'll get a good card after all of this. Sand Tsunami. Sand Burial. Yeah, take that machine attacker. to show the montagna field. We still haven't drawn Umi yet. Pretty crazy. What if Umi is like the last card in our deck? <laughs> uh, okay, so he's down to seven cards. Mm, okay. Shadow World, that's fine. That's fine. So this will knock off another 400. Hmm. Well, let's see what we got here. So I got a plants. Try this. Okay, no. Uh, Mars defense mode. Huh, maybe I'll just play Raigeki so he doesn't take any damage here. Ah, 
like, yeah, we've got him so close. It's just, I don't want to... You know what? Let's do it. <laughs> this is an awful move, but, you know... Yeah, I really want to... Yeah, let's leave him at 1,400. Ooh, 1,400 life points. Because I really don't want the AI to screw this up for me. Okay. Is there a zoomie? That's fine. So this thing has 1,400 attack. Do we have something with 1,400? Oh, Yamatano Dragon Scroll. Perfect. Okay. Hopefully we choose the right sign here. Let's go with Venus. Crash. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, and then um, if you're close to s teching your opponent, just crash, you know. Don't, uh, don't, uh, do too much damage to them. Crash at all times if possible. You know, while you're leaving yourself a strong monster like Twin Hit and Thunder Dragon. Alright, Yamatano Dragon Scroll. I think this is the first time we're gonna see you attack in this LP, so let's check it out. Let's see what you got. Are you gonna write them a message? She's probably going to use a missile attack or water gun. What you got? Yeah, missile attack. Harpoon torpedo. Oh no, you defeated my scroll. Maybe it's a good thing we didn't play Umi because this guy is dropping some water monsters. <laughs> yeah, and it just, just like in Duel of the Roses, just kind of pans over to Miss Aries Umi. Like, oh. <laughs> uh. Alright, so he's down to six cards. Alright. When we have when when you see where it says U and three, when our deck is at zero, that's when we'll finish him off. So uh let's just set Okay, so this will make Ushioni. So I'll keep that in mind. We'll keep those two in hand. Uh we'll just set uh set plot the trick. Since it is pretty weak in case the AI decides to come at us again. Okay. Heal Witch. Yeah, they might. But, uh, hopefully Yambi Bakura starts doing what he normally does when he's really, really low on cards. Okay. Sandstone, 1300. That's gonna be tough to do. There's Umi. Okay. 13, 13. Well, I don't think I can get anything with 13. Let's just go with Droll Bird. Oh, we do have the Guardian Star. So this would do only 300 to him versus 700. Yeah, let's do it, Guardian Star. Good job, Droll Bird. You came in handy, buddy. All right, we get to see this thing's attack for the first time. All right, and we're close to the end of the episode here, so it'll be a little too harder for s teching. Stone actually looks pretty good for the model in this game. Let's see what you got. Whoa! It's like a pyramatic supersonic attack, man. That looks cool. Nice. Nice job, Grillbird. Or should I call you Trollbird? <laughs> this thing looks so silly. Yummy Bakura, so you take another 300. Putting you down to 11. And we'll end the turn there. Okay. So we'll be down to zero this turn. Is he gonna attack? Yeah, that's fine. Fire cracking. Okay. So yeah, now we're down to zero. So once you see your, where it says you has zero, go all out and just finish him off. So. But we did get him down to... What? That doesn't work? Oh, I might have to take Hurricane out of my deck. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, let's just... Uh, yeah. 20 hit of Thunder Dragon? Will you do the honors, my friend? All right, and I'm not sure if this will get an S-Tech or not, but either way, we will get a tech. We might... Hopefully, we don't get a D-Tech, though. So, but we did lose quite a few life points, so... But yeah, like I said, this is how you do it. Just run their deck as low as possible. You know, we got them down to three cards. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. But yeah, try if you can to get his deck down to zero. That's your best chance for S tech. Or uh, like zero or yeah, or like one. Get them down to just one card. But we did pretty good though. It's just I think we may have lost too many life points for an S tech. 
and basically wait until your deck gets down to no cards, and then just go all out and uh, finish them off. So, all right, we win, Yami Bakura. Let's see what kind of rank we get here. Hopefully, we get an S tech. Well, probably A tech is the best I can hope for, but. Oh, we got a B tech. Okay, and we got the flame manipulator. Uh, but yeah, so we'll probably try again in a different episode to S tech this guy some more. Uh, but flame manipulator, let me check that out, actually. I wonder if this counts as a fire monster in this game. Oh, no, it is a spellcaster, but. Hmm. Maybe it's kind of like Fire Reaper, and it does count. Okay, let's put this in the deck instead of Hurricane. Because uh, for some reason, Hurricane, even though it's a spellcaster, it didn't fuse with... Let's see, Hurricane filled with the dragon. It didn't make Blackland. Maybe you need a, uh, a dark spellcaster for Blackland Fire Dragon? Because, like, for whatever reason, Hurricane isn't fusing like... Uh, some of my other spellcasters do. You know, because normally I'll fuse this with the jar to make uh, Ushioni. So yeah, let's take it out. And let's put in Flame Manipulator. Yeah. Alright, so I think I'm going to, like I said, end it here. Um, maybe we'll try to S-Tech him one more time in the next episode. Yeah, because we could really use some good spells and traps. So, and I definitely want to get at least one S-Tech to show you guys how it works. Uh, yeah, tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll end the video here, make, since we split it up into two parts. Um, but yeah, so uh, thank you guys all for joining me. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. And uh, yeah, next episode, we will, uh, yeah. Try to S Tech Yami Bakura once again. But yeah, I'm not gonna try to S Tech too, too, too many times. Uh, yeah, uh, later on when I S Tech in this LP, I'll probably just cut to the end because, yeah, S Teching does take like quite a lot of time. But uh, I do wanna show you guys how it works. So the first few S Techs, like I'll wait till we get a good spell and trap with S Tech. And then from then on, in the LP, whenever I S-Tech people, I'll just kind of cut to the end. To like, you know, kind of like I did in the quick play of Dawn of Destiny. I'll kind of cut to the last two or three turns. And then, uh, yeah, and then I'll show you guys, you know, our stars and what we win. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I plan to do as far as S-Teching. And we are going to need to S-Tech a lot in this game. So, uh, but yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you all next time. Man, I love this music. Man. Alright. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Alright.